Hello children, how are you all? I am your teacher Mrs. Rosemary Raj Dudat and I hope you must have understood the lesson from English subject that is rain in the night and today I am going to teach you the first lesson from the environmental studies part 1 that is the life cycle of, of animals. Now look at the puppies and their mother in the picture. What do you see there? The puppies and the mother, they are similar. Yes or no? They look very same. They are similar to each other. And now you can see a picture of a caterpillar and a butterfly. And the caterpillar that has come out of the egg. Do you see some similarities there? No. They look so different. You must have watched, you must have seen the butterflies in the garden. You must have, you all love butterflies, isn't it? But here we see the caterpillar and the butterfly. They are not similar, but they are different from each other. Okay, now see the hen lays eggs. You have seen eggs, na? And many of you eat egg also. So this, the hen lays eggs. And the cheeks come out of those eggs. Next to the picture, there is a picture of a cat and the kitten. Do kittens come out of the eggs? What do you think? No, the kittens don't come out of the eggs. And the cheeks come out of the eggs. See, there are so many things different between these animals. There are different things. The chicks are born through the eggs and the kittens are born through the mother's tummy. So today from this lesson, we are going to learn the growth of animals. And now we can see the goat and the kid. See, they are so similar. They also look same. There are many, many examples of the animals. You know, they look similar animals we are going to see now who look the young one looks similar to the mother the, the horse we can see the horse the young one looks similar same way the zebra and the young one and also you can see all these images here the cat and the young ones the dog and the puppies the goat and the kids all these animals look very similar to the adult to their mother isn't it but these animals grow in their mother's womb in their mother's stomach and they come out of the mother's tummy but some animals are there there are some animals that lay eggs some animals lay eggs like animals like crows spiders lizards they grow through the egg they lay eggs okay now some more animals like ants butterflies fish frogs snakes you know they all lay eggs but the eggs are very tiny very small see you can see that the eggs of the frog they're so tiny we don't even understand that they are the eggs they're very tiny these animals are very tiny and their eggs are also very tiny we cannot understand that these may be the eggs of these animals but the eggs of the hen are noticeable means we can see we can see them easily the hen lays eggs and we can see the eggs very easily and when this hen lays eggs means hatch you know what is the meaning of this word hatch hatch means when a hen sits on her eggs to warm them she is said to be hatching her eggs this is a new term for you and you have to understand this okay the hatch means when the hen sits on the eggs to warm them she is said to be hatching her eggs and the vomit is very necessary for the cheeks you know when she sits on the eggs and she is giving them warm 
the cheeks are growing inside the egg and it is happening only when the vomit is given to those eggs she sits on them she warms them and she when she warms the eggs the cheek is growing inside the egg slowly slowly it is growing inside the egg and when the cheek is grown completely it breaks the egg shells and comes out okay children you are understanding na see the cheek is growing inside the egg and the mother hen is warming the egg she is hatching on them she is warming it and when the cheeks grow completely fully they break the egg shell and they come out of those shells and you know what the hen looks after her cheeks very well she's she's looking after them very well and you know what it is said that when she is hatching her eggs or she is looking after her cheeks she becomes aggressive with fear aggressive with fear means you know what she gets angry if anyone is trying to come close to her cheeks or close to her eggs the mother hen becomes aggressive and she gets angry and she tries to attack that person who is coming close to her cheeks or who is coming close to her eggs so i hope you have understood that the chicken is born from the egg and we have seen the process okay now what did we learn about the growth of animals the first point is some animals and the young ones are not very different they look similar means they look same second point they grow in their mother's stomach and they are born from mother's tummy some animals like crows spiders lizard etc they lay eggs okay we have understood these points from this section first section and now i am going to give you some difficult words to learn puppies similarities caterpillar grown differences hardly notice enough easily hatch vomit necessary growing eggshell aggressive safety attacks hatching so these are the difficult words that you should learn you note it down in your notebook and i want you to read this lesson the first section very carefully and you'll understand more thanks for watching